Hello my dear students, how are you all? Fine, I hope you all are safe in your home. Due to COVID-19, we are stuck in our home, right? You know, to which organ of us, the coronavirus greatly affect very good in our respiratory system. Do you know what is the function of respiratory system? Okay, very good. The function of respiratory system is to move two gases. Which are the two gases? Okay, oxygen and carbon dioxide. When we inhale, which gas enter into our body? Oxygen. Okay, then when we exhale, which gas release from our body? Okay, very good. Carbon dioxide is eliminated or released from our body. Do you know the pathway of air into our body? that we learned in the previous class. Okay, let us revise the topic. Can you see this picture? Okay. First, the air enter into our body through nose or mouth. Then quickly enter into this pharynx. Pharynx is our throat portion. Okay, then enter into larynx. Larynx is the voice box of our body. Then the air enter into trachea. Trachea divides into two branches. It is called a bronchus. The bronchus divides into number of branches. Okay, number of minute branches. This, that uh, branches are called a bronchioles. Okay, in the smallest bronchioles ends into tiny air sacs. Okay, these are the tiny air sacs. Do you know the name of these tiny air sacs? Okay, very good. That is alveoli. Okay, the gas exchange takes place in this portion. That is alveoli portion. Today we are learning the topic alveolar gas exchange. Okay, let's study the topic. Alveolar gas exchange. First, we study about some of the features of alveolar gas exchange. Okay. Can you see this picture? Okay. This is the structure of an alveolus. Okay, alveolus is the singular form of alveoli. Okay. Alveoli are the ending of bronchioles, which is delicate and bending like a structure. Have we already talked about it? When the walls of alveoli and blood capillaries are singly celled. Okay, the wall of alveoli and the wall of capillary is made up of single cell. That makes the exchange of gases more easy. Okay, got it? Then, alveoli is surrounded by numerous blood capillaries. This alveoli is surrounded by not one capillary, but numerous blood capillaries are surrounded by alveoli. Okay. Alveoli increases the respiratory surface area. There are a numerous number of alveoli is present in our lungs. Okay, so that increases the respiratory surface area. Then the exchange of gases takes place between alveoli and the blood capillaries. Okay, this blood capillary consists of red blood cells. That carry the oxygen molecule. Okay. Oxygen enters into our body when carbon dioxide release from our body. Got it? Okay. This is an alveolus. 
alveolus wall is made up of single cell there are numerous number of red capillaries are surrounded by alveolar and the, the alveoli increases the surface area respiratory surface area this is an alveolus the wall is made up of single cell and it is surrounded by blood capillaries this is one of the blood capillary it is also the wall of blood capillary is also made up of single cell okay this make the exchange of gases more easy If the blood capillaries con consist of RBC, may carry the oxygen molecules. Exchange is takes place here in between alveoli and the blood capillaries. Okay, when oxygen when we inhale, oxygen enter in the body. Okay. Carbon dioxide release from our body. Got it? When we inhale, when oxygen enters into our body, the concentration of oxygen is high in the alveoli. Oxygen. Concentration of oxygen is higher. In higher than concentration of carbon dioxide in the alveoli. Okay, and also in the blood capillaries, the concentration of carbon dioxide is high due to metabolic activities and concentration of oxygen is low in the blood capillaries got it okay so there is exchange of gases takes place the process that occur in this gas exchange is diffusion diffusion due to con concentration gradient between these two gases the, there occur diffusion okay then in the carbon dioxide from the blood capillaries enter in the alveoli and oxygen in the from the alveoli enter in the blood capillaries then we exhale and eliminate carbon dioxide okay Got it? Take your notebook and write down the questions. What are alveoli? First you will say what are alveoli? And second question, what are the peculiarities of the walls of alveoli and the capillaries? What are the peculiarities of the walls of the alveoli and the capillaries? Then third question, which process facilitate the exchange of gas between alveoli and capillaries? Which process facilitate the exchange of gas between alveoli and capillaries? Got it? Okay, then answer. First question, what are alveoli? Alveoli are the ending of bronchioles. Very good. Which is delicate and venom like structure. Okay, very good. Then, second question 
what are the peculiarities of the walls of the alveoli and the capillaries? They are single cell. Okay, then third question. Okay, which process facilitate the extent of gases between alveoli and the capillaries? Okay, which process? Diffusion. Okay, very good. I hope you all have understood the topic. Then uh, next study some of the features of RBC, which is one of the component of blood. Okay, uh, that they nature or I am carrying oxygen molecules. Okay. Can you see this chart? Okay. RBCs or red blood cells are disc shaped structures. Okay, between 45 lakh to 60 lakh per milliliter of blood. Then it will lack nucleus and other cell organs. Then the main important point is oxygen is carried by the hemoglobin of the RBC. Okay, hemoglobin has great affinity for oxygen. Then each hemoglobin molecule binds to four molecules of Oxygen. Okay. We see or red blood cells. Okay. It is disc shaped. That's right. One millimeter consists of forty five to sixty lakh RBC. Okay, then oxygen carried by hemoglobin molecule that is present in RBC, then one hemoglobin molecule carry four oxygen molecules. Okay, then it also lack nucleus and other cell organelles. Okay, understood? Got it? Okay. Then take your notebook and write down the questions. First question, which component in the blood carry oxygen molecules? Which component in the blood carry oxygen molecules? Okay, second question, how many oxygen molecules are carried by one hemoglobin molecule? Okay, second question, how many oxygen molecules are carried by one hemoglobin Molecule. Okay, first question which component of the blood carry oxygen molecule? Which RBC? Okay, the next question how many oxygen molecules are carried by the one hemoglobin molecule? That is four oxygen molecules. Okay, very good. So, concluding this topic, I will give you a chart. That filling the blanks. Okay, answer it. Gas exchange takes place in the blanks between alveoli and blood capillaries. Okay, then exchange of gases are takes place by the process of very good diffusion. Then the concentration of oxygen is high in dash during inspiration. Very good, that is alveolar. 
then the oxygen carrying component of blood is rbc okay understood i think you got an overall idea about the topic alveolar gas exchange okay let us continue the topic today we have studied about alveolar gas exchange the uh, exchange of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place in the alveoli okay alveoli are the endings of bronchioles and which is vacuum Thank you. 